Well, the year is almost over, so we're gonna finish it out with one last comfort food meal. So we're gonna make us some crock pot beef tips and gravy. So just go ahead and look at the cloud, y'all. Go ahead and just spray your crock pot with some cooking spray, and then you're gonna add in one can of beef broth. Now, if you don't have beef broth, it's not an automatic fail. You can always just add some water and then, you know, just put a little extra seasoning in it. And then to our beef broth, we're gonna add one can of cream of mushroom soup, but again, if, if you have cream of celery or you don't like mushrooms, you, you can use whatever you got. Whatever kind of cream. So, I mean, I don't use anything like, I don't know if I'd use cream of chicken, you know, because it is beef. But just add you one little can of whatever little cream soup mix you have. And then we're going to add one packet of onion soup mix. And y'all say that's not great value. Look how fancy I am. Actually, I bought it in bulk at Sam's and all they had was the name brand. So, you know, otherwise it would have been great value. And then we're also going to add one packet of brown gravy mix. Now, I don't normally have the packets. I'd use the big container. So I just used what I had left. I just had a little bit left in there. And you're just going to dump all that over into your crock pot. Then we're going to, of course, you know my favorites. We're going to add in some onion powder and some garlic powder and you can just add you know season it to your taste however much that you like um you know whatever you like in your food just add it in there y'all and then we're gonna add a little bit of pepper now i did not add any salt because we have the cream soup that already has salt in it and i had that beef broth and normally i do buy the low sodium but that wasn't a low sodium so I'm not gonna add any salt right now. And I'll taste it later once it got, you know, gets to cooking good and just make sure that all is well and I don't need to add anything. But for now, we're not gonna put any salt in it. So just go ahead and get all of those little ingredients all mixed up. And look, y'all, it already looks like gravy. Don't it look good already? So we're gonna add to this one chopped onion. Now, if you don't like big hunks of onion you don't have to add the onion you can add some of the little minced onion flakes if you want to it just gives it a really really good flavor so go ahead and just stir your onion around in there and then you're gonna add your beef now I just had this is just a packet of like lean stew meat and y'all, they said lean, but look at all that fat on there. But anyway, we're not going to talk about that. That's neither here nor there. That's what we had, so that's what we used. And it's probably about a pound, I think. It's just one little pack. Now, y'all, make sure if you're not subscribed yet, go ahead and click that subscribe button and then turn on your notification bell so that you don't miss any of my videos. So you're just going to stir your meat around. And y'all know we had this talk about the chicken. I did wash that meat. And then I clean my sink real good. I wash everything, y'all, because I don't, I don't want anything extra getting in my food. So we're going to just go ahead, put the lid on our crock pot, and we're going to set the timer. Now, I started this in the morning time, and I was going to have it for supper that night. So I put it on low and let it cook for about eight hours. Now, once your little eight hours is up, I always like to stir it around real good. Because we're going to make rice and gravy, you know, like put this over rice, I don't like my the juice real, real thin. And see how thin that is? It's just real, real watery. So we're going to go ahead and make us up a cornstarch slurry. Now, I'm sure most people, if you cook, you know how to do this already. But I just take about a tablespoon of cornstarch and about a tablespoon of water and then you're just going to mix it in real good. And when you first start to mix this, it feels like it's going to be super, super thick. Like it's, you know, like, you know, you don't have enough liquid, but don't add extra liquid. Just keep stirring that around and it'll loosen it up and it'll get thinner. So once you get that all mixed up, go ahead and add that into your crock pot. Now make sure that you stir as soon as you get this cornstarch slurry in there because it will clump up. And you'll think you're biting into a piece of meat and you'll be biting into a big hunk of cornstarch or the you know like a kind of a gel kind of stuff i don't know it's kind of it's a weird consistency if you don't get it stirred in 
So make sure that you get it stirred up real, real good. So once we get our cornstarch mixture all incorporated in here, we're going to pop the lid back on it. I'm going to cut it up on high, and then we're going to let it cook on high while we get our rice cooked. Now, remember, we were talking about rice the other day, and I told y'all if I was going to serve y'all something over rice, I would make you some real rice. Well, look. Look at there, y'all. I'm true to my word. We're making real rice. So you just need to follow your package directions, y'all. That's the easiest way to do it. You're going to turn this up. I turn mine. This is how I do mine now. You know, everybody's a little different. I turn mine up on high. Add my rice and my water. I add a little tablespoon of butter over in there. And then I go ahead and season it. Rice don't taste like nothing if you don't put some seasoning in it, y'all. But I didn't want to put anything like Tony's or any real, real heavy seasonings in there because I'm going to put it with these beef tips. But if I decide to use it for something else later, I don't want it to not, you know, the flavors to not work together. So I just, I kept it simple. Salt, pepper, a little bit of butter. Now you're going to, excuse my snorting, y'all. My allergies, whew, you know, this weather changing is getting me. But anywho, you're just going to go ahead and you're going to bring that to a boil. Once you get it to a boil, you're going to cut it down on on low. You're going to put a lid on it and you're going to let it just sit there and simmer for about 15 minutes. Do not take the lid off. Don't touch it. I let mine sit for about 20 minutes because I was doing something. It's not going to make any difference. And then you're going to take it off your fire and look, just fluff it up. I let it sit after, I, after it's cooked for the 15 minutes. I turn it off and I let it sit for a little bit. And then you just fluff it up with a fork. And then I'm all, you're going to say, look, I'm just slinging rice everywhere. But I'm going to go ahead and get a little taste and make sure my rice is seasoned good. Because as good as you season your beef tips and stuff, if you put it over some bland rice, y'all, it's, it's you just need to season your rice. So now that we got our rice all cooked... We're going to go back, and I think you can see right there around the edges how much thicker that the gravy has gotten. Now, it's not super thick, but it's definitely quite a bit thicker than what we had it before we added the cornstarch. And y'all, this is all there is to this. You're just going to put you a little bit of rice on your plate, and then pour some of your beef tips and gravy right over top of it. Y'all, this stuff is so good. It's really good on a cold night, but it's good on a warm night, too. Just cut the air conditioner up and pretend like it's wintertime. But look at that, y'all. It's so, so good. And you can just serve this. You can make you some green beans, some, some asparagus, some broccoli, whatever you want to serve on the side. And I just wanted to cut into this for y'all because it is just, look, you don't even, I barely touch it with the fork, and it is just falling apart. It is so, so delicious. And look, oh, 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 it wouldn't come off the fork. Well, I'm going to go ahead and eat that bite, y'all. I'm taking one for the team. But look at this, y'all. It's just, it's like butter. It's so, so soft and tender. It's super, super delicious. So eat as much as you want. Calorie free. Just kidding. It ain't calorie free, but it sure is good, y'all.